Welcome back to Teshki Defects for another quant price prediction update which at the time of this recording is holding below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. At the time of this recording we are also holding below a key area of support at around the $106 mark which is also acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. And in case we continue seeing further breakdown, then the next key area of support that I'm watching is at around the $100.3 mark. We have also seen a breakout out of a chart pattern that we had been trading within, which is this ascending channel, which has now given us a breakout to the lower side. And before I get further into the technical analysis, to give you the short term scenarios and also my long term expectations here on the quant chart, First, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and also check out the channel membership. And basing my analysis on the ADOTF structures, you can see that after seeing our bear market low at around the $40.1 mark, we started this massive bounce to the upside, obeying the ADOTF structures, where I have these five wave structure having the wave five, giving us a peak at around the $229 mark and also completed the formation of that larger ADO wave count one to the upside. And after seeing the high for that first wave, whatever we expected next was a corrective structure in the formation of this wave two. And using the Fibonacci's, connecting them from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one, that gave me a minimum retracement area in the formation of that wave two between the FIB level 0 0.5 and the FIB level 0 0.78, which is a target area that lies between the $135 mark and the $80.6 mark, which is the area highlighted here on the charts using this red target area. And you can see that here on the charts, we have a low within the target area at around the $94.4 mark. And because within the formation of this wave 2, which is corrective, I have also been expecting to see an ABC corrective structure also play out. We can term this as the wave A, then a wave B giving us a peak at around the $165.5 mark. And whatever we are seeing at the moment is the impulsive wave to the lower side in the formation of that wave C. And there are high chances that in case quant continues to see further breakdown and also lose significant areas of support, that is the area that is now remaining at around the $100.3 mark, there are high chances that once we lose that, we are going to see further breakdown into the red target area and also get a low below the low for this wave A at around the $94.4 mark. And once that plays out, then that will be putting in place the law for this second wave and also the law for that wave C to the lower side. And that suggests that there are high chances that soon we might see an 80 point something dollar quant in the formation of that wave two. And once we bottom out in the formation of that wave two and also continue holding within our minimum retracement area in the formation of this wave two, from there, we can start expecting higher prices in the formation of a larger ADA wave count three, and also expect to see our five wave structure in formation, having the wave five fully maximizing our minimum target areas. So for now, here on the quant chart, we just need to pay key attention on the key areas of support at around the $100.3 mark, because in case we see a breakdown into that target area, there are chances that at first, we might find support and then bounce back to the upper side. But in case we lose that key area of support, there are high chances that we are going to see a retest of that key area of support before we can continue seeing further breakdown to fully maximize this red target area in the formation of this wave two and also put in place the law for that second wave to the lower side. So let's be patient and see how that plays out. And I think once the low for that second wave plays out and we see further breakdown, there's no need for panic because that would be another perfect entry into quant to ride that massive pump in the formation of that wave three. And also taking a look at the indicators here on the RSI, 
we are trading at around the 40 mark 34 mark meaning we have massive room for us to support higher prices but in case the breakdown continues that will still be supported on the rsi also taking a look at the macd we have been able to print a bearish cross suggesting further breakdown so let's be patient and see how that plays out and i'll be keeping you updated